welcome to Catholic Nest. So I thought I'd share um, everything my just turned seven year old is doing for her um, English this year. So for maths she's going to be doing the good and the beautiful maths too which I've yet to print off. All the good and the beautiful maths and language arts are free on PDF. They only cost if you buy them in uh, ready printed form. So I've already shared a video on the Cottage Press programme that she's going to be using for English. It's a Charlotte Mason style. Um, do go and have a look at the video if you're interested in what that entails. So all that requires is um, the workbook, the teacher book. You can print all the art for free from their website, which is a brilliant resource. And it covers two artists a term, one picture study a week. She's also covering Cardinal Direction. Um, within the workbook, so I've printed off a little one of these from Twinkle. <clears throat> the only other thing that programme requires is this edition of Aesop's Fables for Children. So I'm just subbing that with a spelling garden workbook from St. Jerome Catholic Series. I'll show you a quick peek inside. These are so pretty and every grade has a different um, nature theme and they've got this lovely velvety front really beautiful artwork and they've got these lovely nature borders with little nature pictures all the way through and I know my daughter will appreciate um, the prettiness of it so each lesson has the same layout they get 15 words alphabetically um, a lesson then they have five sentences to fill in the blanks using words from the list. And then there's five um, points down here where they um, have to match the definition to the word. So I like the fact that they get to use the words in several ways. And then they get a chance to practice writing and spelling them. So then there's three pages covering 15 words. And there's three chances to write it. So they could copy it and then cover and remember how to spell it. So you could split it in several ways. I think we're going to split it probably over two or three days. So um, she'll, she can, you could split this into three sections and these into three, three days as well. So lots of ways to use it, quite versatile. <clears throat> it covers the same. layout all the way through so quick flip through just really pretty beautiful artwork it does make a difference when it's when it's just nice it's not a distracting artwork either it's it's just appealing so she's using that as well so she reads for pleasure um she's got her own books that she reads at bedtime um, she's reading a horse series at the moment, but with with me, she's going to be doing the Good and the Beautiful Level 2 Personal Reader, which I've just printed off on PDF. Each of the children have one of these flips that I've made from Twinkle as well, just with sort of basic stuff to remember. So remembering how to spell and order the months of the year. Flags of the country, shapes, 2D, 3D, a 1 to 200 chart. I uh, wanted a, um, a thousand chart. There's this land form. She's starting piano lessons this term. So there's a little music sheet, multiplication square, just little things for her own resources here. She hasn't got to the point of using quite a few of them yet, but just handy. I thought this was good. How to make the perfect sentence. Remember the capital letter, the full stop, the finger spaces. So just a, a few handy things. They all have one each um, with uh, different things in according to their, to their level. So they're quite handy just for reinforcing things and something they can do mostly on their own. <clears throat> then she still has this, the St. Jerome Grammar book. Um, she's still doing that. So that's everything besides from the maths that my year three daughter will be doing this term. So I'm really hoping we get on with the cottage press as it's uh, following on from the kind of thing that we've been doing and it's 
take some of the donkey work out by providing a lot of the literature within the workbook. I have um, another series that I would like to go on to in the future, um, but for now, this suits us. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos in the run-up to the new term. Thank you.